welcome on our Tech Talk video. This is Mark Yulo. Kindly hit the subscribe button at isama na din ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga bago nating episodes. So, ang ating topic sa ating Tech Talk, speaker placement uh -huh. tips. Okay? Number one, paano natin ipwesto, paano natin ip uh, ilagay? Okay? Isa sa mga consideration dito, bullet number one, distance, the distance of your speaker to the wall. Distance from your speaker to the ceiling. Okay? Number three, speaker system dispersion consideration or coverage pattern which is measured in degrees, horizontal and vertical. Number four, speaker distance to the nearest and farthest listener. Okay, let's talk about the first. Speaker placement tip, distance of speaker to the wall. As we can see, doon sa ating uh, placement ng ating speaker, nagbabago yung frequency response. Okay, frequency response habang lumalapit tayo ng lumalapit sa ating wall. Sometimes, hindi okay yung masyadong malapit. Nagkakaproblema. Minsan, kailangan nating lumayo. Okay? So, doon sa nakikita natin yung first photo natin, no nearby wall, no increase in bass response. So, habang lumalapit na lumalapit yung ating speaker sa wall, tumataas yung ating bass response of low frequency response. Doon sa pangalawa, one nearby wall, nagdadagdag tayo ng plus, dumadagdag yung response. Hindi tayo nag increase sa pamamagitan ng amplitude or gain, but nag increase acoustically yung low frequency as we move the speaker closer to the wall. It increases around plus 6 dB. The next thing is, dalawang nearby wall, nasa kanto, nasa corner na. Yan, may mga naglalagay ng speaker sa kanto. Medyo iwasan natin yan. Kaya hanggat maaari, kung ako magsasabi sa ah, kung aking ano, setup, pinakamababa na yung 1 meter dun sa wall. Pinakamalapit na yon, Sobrang lapit na yon. Tayo nga, nagkaroon tayo ng physical distancing. Eh. Bigyan din natin ng distancing ang ating speaker sa wall. So, two nearby wall will give you a plus 12 dB boost, bass boost or low frequency boost. Now, pag nilagay mo naman sa sahig, kaya nangyayari yung ating mga monitor speaker, pag nakalagay sa sahig at nasa kanto, umaakit na siya ng plus 18 dB as you can see doon sa ating uh, curve. Okay, sa ating uh, display. Three nearby wall, which is, syempre, kasama yung floor, left and right na wall, nag increase tayo ng tinatawag na 18 dB low frequency boost. Okay. Now, the next tip is, you need to check the distance between your speaker to the ceiling. Yan, ceiling. Ah, ganun din ang nangyayari dyan. Kapag malapit yung ating speaker sa kisame, nagkakaroon din tayo ng issue sa reflections, nagkakaroon din tayo ng issue sa low frequency uh, response, kaya hanggat maaari, ilalayo natin yan doon sa ating kisame. Habang lumalapit na lumalapit, nagiging makapalantunog. Baba nyo po yung speaker ninyo hanggat maaari 2 meters away pa nga doon sa ating kisame. Okay? That's the second tip. Actually, kailangan nyo rin po mag-test. Pag hindi tayo nag-test, ang nangyayari, nag eq tayo, nagbaba, napipilitan tayo magbaba ng low frequency. Pag nagbababa tayo ng low frequency, yung tunog from the speaker, hindi na po yun ang totoo niyang frequency response. Hindi na po yun ang ating tunog talaga galing sa ating speaker. Yung naririnig natin, galing na doon sa acoustics ng ating room. Sa so, speaker placement tip natin, number three, speaker dispersion consideration. As you can see, doon sa first photo natin sa ating figure, may tayo nakikita na horizontal and vertical coverage. Yan. So, yung ating uh, horizontal, nakikita natin 90 degrees. Okay. Okay, 90 degrees pag nakatayo. Siyempre, pag nakatayo. 90 degrees ang horizontal, 60 degrees ang vertical. Okay? Although, may mga speakers na narorotate. Narorotate. Pwede mong i-rotate yung horn. Example, yung instead na original niya ay na, uh, nasa 90 degrees horizontal, 60 degrees vertical, pwedeng magbaliktad. So, pag ginawa natin floor monitor or stage monitor, 
yun yung sa mga isa sa mga pinipili natin pag tayo ay bibili ng ating speaker system. Ulitin natin, speaker dispersion measured in degrees, horizontally and vertically. As we can see on the third photo on the right side, di ba? Kailangan, yun ang ating tinatawag na coverage pattern, no? Sa mga, view, mga listeners and viewers, sa mga nakikinig. Kapag tayo ay wala na doon sa tinatawag nating coverage, yung mga viewers, mga listeners, nasa side na kayo pero wala tayong side fill o kaya stage fill, naririnig na lang natin yung low to mid frequency. Okay? Low mid frequency and extreme low frequency. Wala na yung mid to high frequency kasi wala tayo doon sa coverage pattern ng ating uh, tweeters, ng ating horn. Kaya hanggat maaari, if you want to hear the clarity, yung talagang tunog, dapat covered ang operator ng buong coverage pattern ng speaker, which is including the horizontal and the vertical. And the fourth is, we need to consider the speaker distance to the nearest and farthest listener. So, nakikita niyo po yung uh, kulay blue on the left side and uh, on the right uh, left side and the right side yung po yung red. Nakikita natin dapat covered po yan. Dapat covered na covered yung simula sa harapan hanggang sa likod. Papasok tayo doon. Kung tayo yan nasa sound system design o speaker system design, pag-aaralan natin yung tinatawag na geo geometry. Geometry. Angle. Angle. Yung mga magagaling-magaling dyan, mag, ano, mag-billard, magaling sa geometry yan. So, as we can see in the photo right now, it is very important that we need to know habang lumalayo na lumalayo yung speaker doon sa farthest listener, nababawasan ka na ng mga a few decibels. So, hanggat maaari, ang target natin yan, when we measure, it should be plus minus 3 dB in each of the area, in each of the space inside the facility or the venue. So, gagamit tayo na tinatawag na SPL o sound level meter. SPL meter, measure natin yan. So, as you can see, oh, meron tinatawag na delay speaker doon sa right side photo natin. Meron tayong main speaker, ang tawag natin doon ay front of house speaker. At meron tayong naka-time delayed. Time delayed. In short, they should be synchronized in time. So, hindi lang pag-ibig ang in time o on time, pati ang sound din. Pwede ba yun? So, dapat sabay. Sabay darating. Okay? Sabay darating from the front of house to the fill speaker. F-I-L-L. Fill speaker. Which is delayed po yun, naka-time aligned doon po sa sumunod na mga speakers. So, kung ilang po yung speakers na susunod, ita-time delay po natin sila, ia-align po natin sila para sabay po yung ating signal arriving to all possibly ang target natin. Pero syempre, hindi naman 100%, depende pa rin sa acoustics. I-run uh, muna natin ulit ano ba yung tips ng ating speaker placement. Number one, consider natin ang distance of speaker to the wall. Number two, distance of speaker to the ceiling. Next, number three, speaker dispersion consideration. It is horizontal, vertical, measured in degrees. Number four, speaker distance to the farthest and nearest listener. Okay? Again, maraming salamat sa mga nanood ng Tech Talk video na ito. Iniimbita namin kayo na mag-subscribe at i-hit ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga bagong videos. Muli, ako si Mark Yulo. See you again!